Okay, I have removed the four screws that, uh, that retain this entire assembly, which is your fuel pump, primer solenoid vapor separator, and vapor separator pump. The, um, the fuel rails enter the throttle body and then the feet fuel through the throttle body into the bowl of the carburetor are attached on the sides. They're held in by these little forked plates and then a, uh, a screw that, that ties them in. I had already removed these, <clears throat> thought I was still talking to the camera, and I had filled up the video card, and the camera quit. So, as I stated before, um, motor builder, yeah, movie maker, no. Anyhow, so uh, I gently pried each one of these um, fuel rails from its um, from its position in the throttle body. All of these O-rings I will remove and, and replace. Um, I've tried before, put them back together, and they leak. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But at the at the cost of, you know, there, there's uh, six on each side. At the cost of 12 O-rings, put new ones in. Because when you go back to take it all apart and fix it again, because you didn't do it the first time, it's just uh, something you don't want to do. So, we have, uh, we have a couple of different uh, I have a couple of different lines that, that that attach to the block. One is the pulse line for the fuel pump, which attaches to uh, cylinder number six down here. And then on cylinder number two, we have uh, what is called a vapor pump on this uh, particular motor that uh, that pulls the um, <coughs> pulls the vapor off off the top of the fuel. That way, you get a more um, steady liquid fuel versus a uh, versus an aerated fuel. So. Um, myself some cutters here. Someone has already had this apart and put it back together with unapproved zip, zip ties and those definitely those white zip ties are not made for an application where fuel can come into contact with them because they will eat them up. Hey kid. So uh, those two pieces of hose Disconnected, and what I do is I take I take these and I get down behind the hose, squeeze to the barb of the fitting, and then use that to pry it off. You pull these off, you you uh, run the risk of breaking that fitting. Okay. A lot of these fittings are little tiny fittings, like this this uh, primer uh, fuel primer fitting tubing goes in a little tiny fitting like that. <coughs> Very easy to break off. So, with utmost care and diligence, we have all those removed. Now, at the top of this vapor pump, we also have another tube that goes to our upper main, and then a tube from the vapor pump to the lower main. This fuel is, the, va the fuel vapor is drawn off and drawn into the cylinder. That way it's not exhausted into the atmosphere, EPA regulations, all that kind of stuff. So, I get this last guy off there and success. pull this all off in one big assembly. Um, basically all you gotta do is clean it up. I'm gonna replace all these zip ties. I'm gonna check all these hoses, make sure that uh, make sure that the integrity on them is, 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 is still as such as when it uh, when it was newer. Uh, a lot of times these hoses, um, they'll, they'll get old, dried out, and they'll crack. Sometimes the inner liner will uh, will separate. On the old, uh, on the older non-ethanol uh, um, hoses, we had a lot of problems with the inner liner coming off, and then it gets it gets lodged in the, and and clogs um, clogs your parts up, and uh, you end up bringing it into me telling me that it won't run, and uh, so always double check our hoses, make sure that the uh, make sure that they're the correct ones, and make sure that uh, that they're in good shape. Put all these parts in one bag. 
and label it fuel rails. Just put fuel components. There. I'm going to stick that over there. <clears throat> I've noticed how fat I am. You can see I've already drank one Dr. Pepper in between filming this and this. Plus, I got ran over by some lady and I can't really do anything anymore. So I'm wearing this stupid back brace. But, uh, doctor's orders, right? <clears throat> okay, now we're down to, um, we've got a few balancing tubes here. Now, this, uh, this tube's not connected to anything here. It goes into the air box and uh, takes uh, it takes oil off of uh, off the bottom of the cylinders and, and uh, circulates the oil back down into the air box. And then the air turbulence through there will evaporate that oil and run it back through the motor, recycles it, make sure it's all gets uh, burned up cleanly. This other balancing tube here goes into your goes into your lower main with a little on a little bit down there. Get these two guys out of here. These are what hold the balancing tube on. The fork that holds that down like that. That goes on like that. And then when you put your airbox on there's a, there's a rubber strap that comes back and holds that all into place. With no mechanical, real per se mechanical connection in that in this assembly. Oh, pop. pop those guys off. Gently pry our balancing tubes out. The same as the fuel rails. We will uh, discard these O-rings and put new O-rings on there. So the other side here, we'll do the same thing. Move our retainers. And gently pry out. Our balancing tube. Okay. Now I'm de developing quite a mess of crap here, so I'll, uh, like I said before, I will uh, bag all that stuff up and box it all up off camera because you guys know how to do that. Um, I'm going to put this in this, put these in the same box as my fuel components. Pretty easy not to mix them. Okay. Now we're down to uh, now we're down to our lower linkage here. <coughs> Someone has already done me the favor of uh, pulling this screw out. So this, uh, this screw comes off, I'll pull off like that. Go back and get our 3 8 socket. times when I'm doing this I pull the screw out to remove the part and put the screw right back in that way it takes all the guesswork main thing about this is keeping much guesswork out of that those screws are in there that portion of the block <coughs> not gonna when they put it in the uh, in their machining tools those screws won't interfere with the mounting I know this by experience so I just put those back in there I know where they go that comes up there like that we're gonna put I put all my leakage together and everything box this up like I said in a minute have uh, all that in with linkage. When you're pulling these linkage pieces off, um, Careful, um, a lot of times there will be a plastic bushing in the back. You need to make sure you keep that bushing. This one in particular does not have a plastic bushing on them, 
but Mini Motors, I'm um, building a 70 horsepower over here, and um, Mini Motors will have uh, a little plastic bushing like that behind there, and that obviously keeps uh, keeps the metal on metal contact from from uh, from happening and keeps from wearing your part. So, got all these linkage pieces over here. Okay. Now we are down to uh, just the bare bones of our uh, of our assembly here. 